Hey everybody, how you doing today? Today we are going to give you the final verdict or what I truly think about this new SmartMe A1 robot mop. You can see I finally put the little panda bear on it and I think it looks pretty cool that they include that. Especially if you have kids, I can see kids really liking that. So there it is with the bear. Very cool. It's just a little vinyl decal. It doesn't even really stick to it. Uh, so it's very easy to take off and put back on if you choose to do so. So this is going to be just a quick mopping test in this area. And then I'm going to show you some pros and cons of what I do like about it. A few cons that might stop you from buying it. But then again, there's a lot of pros too. So stay tuned for that. So we're going to have it clean. Just this basic little, little area here in my dining room. Kind of kitchen area. I moved my table out of the way to do these mopping tests. And then in here, there are some, some crumbs that I flicked off the counter and threw on the ground just to see how well it picks these up. But the big thing I kind of want to see, I don't know if it's going to be hard to see on camera. See like right there, the like swirl marks. If you remember, I did a bunch of real big tests on this floor and then I used a cordless mopping pad to clean up and the leftover kind of like these swirly stains. I think you can see them. I'm going to see how well that looks afterwards. And then there is a con as well, which should show up after it mops. So stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and start it. Start a foam bath cleaning task. The robot will start to moisten the roller brush. <laughs> See those swirlies? We'll see if those are gone after this test. So one thing to note, you can see in this part, um, it can't get super, super close to the edges of the baseboard. See right there, probably about an inch or so of space that is just simply not going to be able to mop just because of the construction of it. There's no way to really get a mopping pad that far over. Just be aware of that. We're going to let this guy go around and clean, and then we will go over some pros and cons. cleaned up this area again and let's start with the count of this guy it actually cleans quite well it does a good job picking up debris crumbs and what I really like about it is the fact that it vacuums up or sucks up any amount of liquid so if you your kids whoever spills an entire glass of water wine juice milk whatever you can send it out to that specific location and this robot will just suck it up with no issues. What all you don't have to go grab a big bath towel and wipe it all up and then have to wash that. So that's a definitely a, a pro. The navigation is a pro. Very good. It's going to cover every square inch that it can of your floor. So I like that as well. I like that it automatically cleans the roller bar at the end. Now there's a con to that and we'll get to that in just a second. But... The fact that it cleans it. I like the fact that it is air drying it right now so there won't be mold or it won't stink later. There's once again a con to that as well so we'll get to those in just a moment but very good overall. Lighter. It's been working great. Uh, the base is great. It goes back perfectly. No issues there. Charge is fine. Uh, does clean quite well. 
It even did pretty good in here on all those crumbs that were down. It got almost all of them. A couple over here, but that's probably because it was more kind of tucked away in the corner, so I don't really blame it for that. But overall, once again, it does a great job cleaning. Uh, let's move on to another con that is probably really hard for you guys to see. But it looks like if you have the right lighting, it leaves kind of some streaks. I don't think it's the wheels or maybe something on the brush. I don't know, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like streaks that it leaves in the right light. But if it's, say, say there's no sunlight coming in and it's kind of dim in here, you won't see them. But in the full day when the sunlight's coming and it's nice and bright in here, you definitely see these streaks. Um, so it does leave kind of something like that behind. All right, so this is probably the biggest con to me. I don't like background noises or like, like you know, beeps and stuff like that in the background. Um, this fan that's drying the mopping roller right now, to me, is quite loud. If there's a way they can get that to silence it, that would be great. Personally, like I said, I just can't stand it. If I'm sitting over there on my computer, I just hear it in the background and I actually come over and I reset this to where it just doesn't even dry it anymore. So that's a big con for me. Another con I said about the roller bar cleaning itself is it does a great job cleaning the system itself, but they need to redesign it to not leave leave a big old mess like that so every once in a while you will have to come and wipe that off not a huge deal it's something easy and you could leave it if you really wanted to because you can't see it with the robot on there but that is something definitely worth pointing out and definitely a con if they can maybe make this a little bit deeper to where it adds a little bit more water and it kind of flushes it up and out more that would be definitely good um but yeah i think a lot of people won't like the fact that they have to clean that up Charging in progress. Please clean the wastewater tank in a timely manner. Let's switch around to another pro. And that is the water tank system. Super easy to use. You literally pull out this entire tank. All the dirty water and debris is in this smaller tank. And you literally pull it out and spray it down with your sink sprayer. And it cleans within. 30 seconds you'll have this fully clean and you don't have to worry about it stinking or any type of debris. I've actually left this whole system after it cleaned for probably two weeks and I never ever got a smell from the system. And so it does a really good job of keeping all the stuff inside, even the smell, even after a couple of weeks of it cleaning. So definitely like the design of that. Once again, this little sticker, just a piece of vinyl, it's not even sticky. So it's very easy to put on and put off, put on and take off. And then they even gave you an extra roller bar, which is nice. And then there's a scrub brush behind it as well to help you clean the tank if you get it really dirty, so. So what's my overall final verdict on this guy? If you just need a mop and you don't care about an actual vacuum that works on carpet as well, this thing is really, really quite good. There's not many out there that'll actually suck up a whole entire spilt drink on the floor. And uh, if you have pets and stuff that bring in, you know, dirt on their paws and stuff, this is gonna do a really good job of cleaning that up and then sucking up all the dirt. So I actually recommend it. I think it's quite good. If you can live with those couple of minor cons, um, then I think it's a good robot mop overall. It's probably, I would say it's definitely one of the best on the market as far as just the mop. And I say it definitely does better than most of the robot vacuum mop combos, especially the ones that just drag behind it. This thing's going to clean much, much better than those. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing. If you have any comments, leave them below and I'll try to answer them for you. 
And if you're interested in this, I will throw a link down below. Feel free to use that link. And thanks so much for watching. Panda out.